Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? We have 2 to the power of root t, and this equals 8 to the power of t. So we are solving for all values of t that will satisfy this equation. Now, when you are given an exponential problem such as this, in which the base here is quite different from the base here, what you are going to do is to ensure that the two bases are the same. So for you to achieve that, the 2 here is the smaller base compared to the 8. So we are going to express this 8 in terms of 2. Remember, 8 is simply 2 times 2. That is 4 times 2. That means 8 equals 2 to the power of 3. So instead of writing this 8, we are going to represent it with 2 to the power of 3. So we have 2 to the power of root t equals 8 is 2 to the power of 3 and this is raised to the power of t. Now if you consider this identity a to the power of n or to the power of m this equals a to the power of n times m. Now if you consider this identity we are going to multiply this exponent so you have 2 to the power of root t equals 2 to the power of 3t because 3 times t is 3t. Now if you observe this equation right now, the base here that is 2 is also the base here that is 2. So what you are going to do at this point is to apply this other identity. For instance, if you have a to the power of n and this equals a to the power of m, as long as the bases are the same, you can't compare the exponent. So that's exactly what you are going to do here. Since the bases are the same, you are going to compare this exponent. That means you are going to have root t equals 3t. Now the next step you are going to take will be for you to eliminate the square root. So this is raised to the power of 2. And this is raised to the power of 2. Now, what next you are going to do will be for you to eliminate the square root. So definitely, square root of a is the same thing as writing a power 1 over 2. So if you raise this to the power of 2, it means this is also raised to the power of 2. So if you multiply this exponent, you are simply going to have a power 2 times 1, that is 2 over 2, and this equals a power 1, which is the same thing as a. So that means this would definitely cancel out this, this and this proofs that we have done here. And what we are going to have here is simply t equals, for this, what you are going to do is, if you have something like a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c because you can distribute the exponent to each of the bases. So for this, what you are going to have is 3 power 2 times t to the power of 2. So right now, what next we are going to do is to have your t equals 3 to the power of 2, that is 3 times 3, that is 9 times, this is t to the power of 2. So from here, you have t equals 9 times t squared, that is 9 t squared. Now the next step you are going to take will be for us to move this t here across this equality sign and it becomes negative t. So you have 9 t squared, this now becomes negative t and this equals 0. So from here, what you are going to do is to factor out t because they're still on this both sides. So you have t times 9t squared divided by t. That is 9t minus t divided by t. That is 1 and this equals 0. So at this particular point, you are going to have to 
part of equation, two different equations, you have t equals zero or 90 minus one equals zero. So for this one here, this is solved already. So we have t equals zero. So this is solved already. Now for this one here, we are going to have 90 minus one equals zero. Then we move this negative one over here. It becomes positive one. So we have 90 equals one. Now the next step will be for us to isolate this t. So we are going to isolate t by dividing each part of this equation by nine and divide this by nine. So what happens here is that the nine eliminate the nine. So our t equals one over nine. So this is another solution. Now we have two different solutions so the next step we are going to take will be to check for each of these solutions that means plugging those solutions right into this particular equation and let's see if they are going to satisfy this equation so you have this and this so the problem remains the same which is 2 power root t equals 8 power t so let's start with zero you have to power square root of zero. Is it the same thing as eight power zero? Now, don't forget the fact that square root of zero is zero. So you have two power zero. Is it the power zero? Now, any number raised to the power of zero, exception of zero itself, is one. So this is one, and this is one. So this has proven to be correct. Now the next step will be for us to also check for one over nine. Now we have two power root t equals eight power t. So let's insert one over nine for t. We have two power square root of one over nine equals eight power one over nine. Now if you have square root of a over b this is like writing square root of a divided by square root of b so square root of 1 over 9 just like writing this is 2 power square root of 1 divided by square root of 9 and this equals 8 power 1 over 9 so from here what you are going to do is you have square root of 1 that is 1 so you have 2 power 1 divided by square root of 9 that is 3 equals a power 1 over 9. Now don't forget the fact that 8 is simply 2 power 3. Remember 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2. That is 2 to the power of 3. So that means we can have 2 to the power of 1 over 3 equals this is 2 power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 9. So what next we are going to do is we apply this index law of a power n to the power of n equals a power n times n. 3 times 1, that is 3. So you have 2 power 1 over 3 equals 2 power. This is 3 over 9. So from here, you have 2 power 1 over 3 equals 2 power 3 can cancel itself once, cancel 9, we have 3. So we have 1 over 3. So have you seen it? what we have here? It's exactly what we have here. Now you can further simplify this. If you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a. So we apply the same thing right here. That means we are going to have a cube root of 2, and this equals the cube root of 2. So this has also satisfied the equation and that is it. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the solution. Thank you and goodbye.